y'all want to talk about as time goes on and years go on. Yeah, a lot of, you know, we make a lot of decisions. Uh, a lot of young people think, oh, I make a decision. I want to do this. I want to do that. And while you're young and, and you get this mindset and, you, and it's never going to change. That's like all the tattoos. Like a lot of them get the tattoos, like them young girls. Uh, what's her name that goes with, um, what's the name? Uh, it's a rapper. And a young girl, she got his face tattooed on her. Now she Sean Rock gets a new blue face tattoo. And yes, it's on the face. Less than a week ago, Rock said free blue face. And today she gets a blue face tattoo. Oh man, this is wild. And did Krishan just put the internet in a chokehold? Cause we all know it's been a rocky road this week. What do you think of this new tattoo? And man, oh man, do you think this is wild? And y'all know what I'm going to say, right? Welcome to the circus, because things are about to get crazy. At this point, who knows what's next? Keep it locked right here on Blue Rock TTV for all the juicy details. Now she had it tattooed on her neck. Now she got it tattooed on the side of her face. Now my thing is, you make a hasty moves, and we make hasty moves when you're young. And you think you're gonna be with that boy forever. But my thing is, if you can get rid of that, just think about all the, all the things you gotta go through to get that off of your face. You gonna get your face, whole face tattoo and you a pretty girl? Even if you was an ugly girl. Then to me, that just makes you look worse. My thing is, you know, you gotta think, and, and it's hard to think that, that, that way while you're young. But every so many years, I say every like five to 10 years, our attitude, our our demeanor, our thought process change. And what you used to think of what you wanted five years ago, just like clothes and outfits go out of style, you're not gonna want later. I mean, to get that piece of hair, gonna drive me damn crazy. So it's gonna go out of style. And the same way is your mindset. So you gotta think hasty, like, even that now, there's certain tattoos I didn't get when I was younger that I didn't get a whole bunch of them, which is a good thing. Um, but I would have thought differently as since I'm older. Um, but you know, they're not that bad where I had to go, oh my God, I gotta go get this taken off. Or you go on with somebody, just go on with somebody. Even if you're married to somebody, all of a sudden you gonna get their name tattooed on you. No, no. If you get married, that's enough. The ring is enough. Why you gotta get them tattooed on you? Why I gotta get them uh, uh, sculpted in my body? Why I gotta do that? Why you feel like you need to do that? You don't need to do that. And so my thing is, the way you, the way you look at life, you might have been in love with somebody 10 or 5 years ago, and then all of a sudden your mindset changed, and that person you was in love with, you're not in love with no more. Because they, you could be leveling up and they ain't. You could be off in the, in the distance and you find more goals and things in your life and find somebody who's into the same thing you're into. Even the way you look, you might was wearing little bitty skirts or little bitty dresses and, and looking like a hoochie mommy or whatever. And then after so many years, you wanna change your look. You don't wanna look like that no more. You wanna be conservative. Maybe you get in church. Look at uh, Black China or Alexis Sky. The life they living, and people be wanting to be like, oh, they, you know, yes, they was living a horse life. Let's keep it 100 because they was out there doing their thing, strippers and everything else, and they was escorts and everything. But eventually, something set in their head and knew that's not what they wanted anymore. They wanted more out of life. They wanted a more uh, substance in life. And whatever they was going through, drugs, alcohol, it was leading, leading them down a path of nowhere, of nothingness. And they weren't happy, even though it looked like, I got this car, I got these clothes, I got this, this, I'm living this way. It looks wonderful, but it really ain't. They soul, their heart is not uh, uh, happy. So you end up changing that. And then you end up living a more pure and cleaner life. Things that you was doing, you didn't want to do no more places you was going you don't want to go no more mindsets that's even with jobs the type of job you was working back then you want to level up you don't want to work that type of job no more you feel like I'm working like a teenager job or a young person job it's and regardless however it is it's a job you get paid so don't belittle that at all 
but now you feel like I want to level up, I want to go to school, or I want to live a better life, I want to change and live a more productive, and you start thinking about your age, and you start getting older, and your mindset changes. Even the things you want in men, a lot of times we go and be like, I want this man, he gotta have this money, he gotta do this, and he gotta do that, and he gotta be this and that. And then you turn around, find out after you get a little older, you be like, well, that's not important anymore. Now you do want a stable person that got their own. But him being extra rich, how many really extra rich men is it out here? Every woman has. How many? really rich men is it you want a person that uh and then you might he extra rich he might be like a diddy disrespect you don't care ain't thinking about your you know what i mean but you get this purse you get this you pay for that and how i hear um kim porter his baby mama was miserable she didn't want to be with because she couldn't she basically didn't have no life so she had been with him, had kids. He was dictating everything. They weren't even together no more. She couldn't even be with nobody. She was, he was threatening guys, right? And threatening guys and, 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 and stalking her and stalking people, guys and everything. So they didn't want to be with her. It was too much of a problem to even be with her. A beautiful woman like that. And then sometimes you gotta think about that, that, that is, you know, so much so. And sometimes you gotta think about what you ask for. And it's so many times, cause I wanted, even my ex-husband, I want him so bad. Now I'm very funny about watch what you ask for, cause you just might get it. Whew. Because that was a lot dealing with him. We friends, to, you know, to this day, but baby, <laughs> baby, dealing with him. So, and a lot of people could and hold up a facade and seem a certain way and a whole and be a whole nother person. Or you think you knew a person so many years and find out 10, 11 years down the line, you didn't even know this person. They was they, they had an alter ego this whole time. That's crazy, 10 years? Yeah, but it's, it's true. So that being said, um, you grow up, your, your, your wants change. You more into what you need than what you want. Sometimes we don't even know what we really want. Sometimes we don't know what we really need. That's why we need to go to God and ask God to make that choice for us. Because we pick wrong. I know I pick wrong every time. When it comes to relationships and all that, and I ask God to guide my steps on everything. When it comes to jobs, when it comes to um, relationships when it comes to relationship with friends because you can outgrow that too. You can outgrow friendships. Y'all might not even fall out or anything, but you outgrow them. And that's what I'm saying. Your mindset changed. Uh, you used to be like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm flashy. I gotta have, I gotta be jeweled out. I gotta be this and that designer, this and that. And then you get a little older and be like, I don't want that. I ain't gotta have that. I ain't gotta have all that. As long as I got me a good, wonderful, dependable car. A nice home that I could call home in a safe place. I ain't gotta hold no airs for nobody, be fronting for nobody. It's a whole lot to that. So you wanna be careful to making too hasty decisions while you're young. That's when it even comes to doing drugs. Young people, they do drugs. They hang with my friends, I do drugs, and then all of a sudden, you get in a certain age, you know, to be a dolphin. You can't shake that habit for nothing. And I hate that for anybody to go around and be a drug addict. You just like, like they just a dope And you don't want that because if you can achieve and get away from it, God bless you. I am so happy for you and that you've done that and got that monkey off your back. But you got to be careful about who you hang with, your friends. You got to be really particular about who you hang with. You got to be really particular about uh, where you go, you know, and even sometimes what you watch, they ain't lying because they can get in your head even what you listen to. So, uh, a lot of music they used to listen to when you was younger in the past, you're not going to want to listen to them. You're going to be over that. Your whole everything changes. And it seems crazy because then you find out, now I'm acting like my mama. I'm looking like my mama. Or I'm acting like my grandma. Oh, my grandma used to do this. You done turn into them. And it's crazy and it's funny, but that's what happens. And sometimes 
that's when a lot of times you had good things installed in you. And sometimes we younger, we want to do what we want to. We want to rebel and do whatever. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to get all these earrings. And this thing about some of the people get their whole face tattooed up to look like a, a, a lizard or something. I wonder do they get older and regret that later because you can't fix that. They nose and lips and all look like a lizard and tongue split. And they think they're going to want that forever and you're not. Your whole everything is going to change. Your whole, the way you look, the way you dress, the way your mindset. And if you don't, the Bible said that's a foolish man. Because there's no way you should be up in your 50s thinking and doing the same thing that you were doing in your 20s. That's crazy. It's just something you don't do. You will want to get better and mature and, and do better for yourself. And eat better and and just, you know, get better relationships with people and and um, think before you uh, uh, lash out at people and all those different things. So I just had to put that out there um, so you know that um, some of the young people, just, before you even get to doing anything or make a hasty move, think, 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 because it can be a very... Um, damaging thing to you later and then again it could just be growing past some things we have to do and we have to learn um, not saying that good or bad but some things come with growth alright so to whoever that was for um, I hope that helps you and um, I wish you the best please comment like and subscribe until next time y'all stay blessed out there and be safe